Hi guys, it may look like a warm spring day, but we have found ourselves in the middle of a cold midwinter day in April. Yes, after suffering through these hot midsummer days in March, we finally get to April in central Florida. Good God Almighty, what a difference a day or two makes. And it is now Friday, April 2nd, 2021. And uh, so a couple of days ago, I was sitting up here butt-ass naked. And today, let's see, I have on uh, two shirts, a goose-down vest, an Alaska parka, sheepskin boots, Good God Almighty, but I am thrilled to say there is not one caterpillar in sight today after being invaded by these damn millions of caterpillars. There is not one caterpillar in sight today. I see my beautiful uh, tomato plants, my baby tomato plants. I, I Surely we did not have a frost last night. I know we got close, but my my beautiful baby tomato plants, good God, are they a sad sight today. I don't know. I might have lost my entire tomato crop last night, and it's going to be colder tonight than it was last night as old man winter <clears throat> blows his way through. But, uh... I want to talk to you guys about, uh, I've been meaning to mention this, but good lord, after this morning, one thing that happened this morning, I awoke to this pounding headache, feeling like someone was slamming the side of my, the left side of my skull with a hatchet, and, uh, I opened my eyes, and it's like my trailer was spinning around. I mean, it, it, it was like I had, was completely drunk off my ass. I just lay there for five minutes just trying to focus, and then I finally sat up. And, and when I sat up in bed, I, I mean, I've heard of this shit called vertigo, and I've had a couple of small tastes of it, but I'm telling you guys, I mean, the entire planet was spinning out of control. It's, uh, it was, well, it, it was pretty goddamn scary is, is, is what it was. Uh, and I just sat there in the, in my entire world was slanted down to my right. It was like uh, I, I was in the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, if I remember my film, history of film uh, class. Uh, and it lasted, I guess, like five minutes. Finally, the horizon started to level out in front of my eyes. Uh, and I have no business being up here on top of this 20-foot tower. Uh, yesterday, I heard when I climbed this tower, I I slipped. I, I and, and fortunately, I pitched forward instead of backwards. Jesus, uh, but. That's not even what I'm here to tell you about. What I'm here to tell you about is something that's been going on, I, I guess, in my brain for like six or seven months. And I'm going to put all you, uh, this is just a question for all my uh, neurologists here in the tribe. So what started happening, I really wish I could remember when this started happening. I mean, I'm experiencing it right now while I'm uh, talking to you is uh, <clears throat> it's not exactly tinnitus. It, it, it is not a ringing in my ears. If you can imagine uh, B 
being like on an early fall day when the grasshoppers are really kicking in and on an early fall day afternoon and that the sound of those grasshoppers uh, I, I just imagine a field of grasshoppers you know that sound it's, it's actually a very pleasant sound imagine the whole chorus of uh, dozens if not hundreds of grasshoppers just in the background you know, it just has a backdrop to everything. Well, this is the sound that I'm hearing more and more in, in my ears. Instead of a ringing in my ears is this vibration, like a, just like a field of grasshoppers. Uh, is the best way I can describe it. And it can get pretty loud sometimes. And like right now while I'm talking it, it's off in the background I mean but sometimes uh, I mean the sound is clearly coming from inside my brain uh, <coughs> Jesus uh, it, as I say it's not an unpleasant sound uh, it's not like a you know it's not like a fucking airboat going on inside my brain but I guess I'm just lucky that way just imagine if this if this pleasant sound of a field of uh, grasshoppers turns into an airboat or or, or so, some damn voices start talking to me I mean it's just kind of creepy uh, having the, the the sounds that you can't turn off uh, I, and, and I'm not talking thoughts you can't turn off. I've been suffering thoughts I can't turn off, I guess, since the day I was born. But to literally have a sound uh, in, in, the, in the background uh, that you know is coming out of your brain. I mean, what if it goes from my ears to my eyes? Uh, <clears throat> Like, I've been having this bizarre vision of, of being, I mean, for like the past two weeks, these hundreds, if not thousands, of creepy, crawly little caterpillars. These hairy-ass yellow caterpillars with these black antenna, and they have these this line of wasp eggs on them. Uh just raining out of the sky I've been having this this uh, this weird hallucination of, of stinging hairy yellow egg laden caterpillars falling out of the sky and crawling all over my body and stinging me and covering me with these uh, I, I assuming psychosomatic rashes you know, thank God, uh, thank God at least the, uh, the visionary hallucinations have stopped today, but, uh, the sound of the grasshoppers, uh, what's it gonna be next? You, you know, this aging process, uh, You'll find, guys, once you get over 50, and particularly once you get in your 60s, the percentage of time, uh, I was with these two guys yesterday for about half the day. It took us three and a half hours to uh, change my front brakes. Three, three grown men trying to change the, the brakes uh, on a Toyota truck. Three and a half hours. The amount of time that uh, the older you get that you spend talking about all of your various physical ailments uh, it's an, it eats an unbelievable amount of your time and energy how much conversation is spent on uh, talking about how your body or I guess in uh, my case right now my brain it is beginning just to just to go haywire uh, just when your body and your brain just no longer 
what was my buddy Roy, uh, how did he describe it? When your body no longer obeys your mind, I think is how he described it. Uh, this, this helpless feeling to uh, sit back and watch your body just fall apart. Uh, as all of these symptoms creep in and you know it just gets harder and harder to you know to climb back in the saddle just to it takes longer and longer to get back up the more you fall down I shouldn't be talking about falling down uh, sitting up here in this tower uh, <clears throat> after suffering the single worst bout of vertigo I've ever suffered in my life and just wondering when it's going to return. I mean, am I going to be driving down the road uh, at 70 miles a fucking hour and suddenly uh, have my have the entire planet uh, skew to the to the right or the left and start spinning around while I'm driving down the fucking road? Uh, am I going to be climbing down this ladder in the next 30 seconds and, and have this damn vertigo? But I guess I shouldn't complain uh, about having a field of grasshoppers uh, in, in my brain. It, 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 it could be a hell of a lot worse have, than a field of grasshoppers. But it, seriously, guys, if anybody knows what the have you ever heard of of this i mean it's not a ringing uh it, this is something different uh anywho that is my depressed old fart falling apart story of the day but uh i've got to wrap this up oh yeah it's friday i have to go over there do my ecological meltdown roundup rant and see if I could bring my anguished little baby tomato plants back to life. This is really sad uh, looking at, the, at this gorgeous uh, patch of baby tomatoes and they are really sad this morning and it's going to be colder tonight than last night. We're so fucked. Bye, guys.